My NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer costs $32, okay? Why would I put on a full face of expensive makeup, do my hair, make sure my nails are done, make sure there's no hair on my body, and then come and spend two hours of my time talking to you for an $8 coffee or a $16 cocktail. So one of my rules is I don't do coffee or drink dates. Now, I understand that some women like this or prefer this because it's a quick turnaround, 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't like him, you can get out of there. It works for some people. If you like yeah. it, I love it. This video is not for you, keep scrolling. However, for me, as for me and my household, we're going to have higher standards. Ooh, okay. So <laughs> right off the bat, uh, I don't want to say this woman is giving off like difficult energy, but I'm definitely getting difficult energy from her. Uh, the fact that she's stating that she has higher standards just because she doesn't do coffee date. I mean, hey, everyone's got their prerogative or their preferences. You don't like coffee dates. That's fine. Respectable. But to, again, say that you have higher standards than somebody just because you don't do coffee dates or drink dates. Kind of wild to me. If you're looking at it with the situation of a first date, I think coffee or drinks is perfect. Again, as she states, 30 to 45 minutes. If you're not feeling it, you can dip. Saves you the time of spending two to three hours at a dinner and everything like that. Um, financially, it's not a bad option, especially for the guys. I'm sure they would most likely be paying unless you've come to some sort of agreement while you're splitting the bill. But even if it is 30 to 45 minutes, if you guys are vibing, then you could potentially extend the coffee date or even move to another location because you guys are enjoying each other's company. For the woman, it's great. You don't have to spend, again, two hours if you're not liking the guy, like she said. So I don't know. It, to me, this just seems like a weird statement to say, like, you have higher standards when this is a perfectly good option. I'm talking to this guy and I'm going to read it to you because we've been talking for a couple days and he started talking about meeting up. So he said, we should get together over some pear and lychee cocktails soon. And I said, that's really sweet. <laughs> uh, again, maybe this is just me, but if I was still in the dating scene, I, per I personally would probably have said, you want to just get some drinks or if I'm being a little bit more specific, you want to get some cocktails. I don't know if I'd go deep into the pear and lychee but i digress <laughs> but i prefer dinner i like to get dressed up now i always try to say it nicely because i don't want to be like i don't accept drink dates like you don't have to be mean you don't have to be you can you can be nice about it but let's just say i prefer dinner because i like to get dressed up and he said i see what type of places do you have in mind so i sent him a list of places that i've been like wanting to try all sorts of different budgets okay it ranges from like medium to a little bit higher all different locations around the city so he can choose like what works for him you know timing and budget wise so i sent the list of places he says these places sound really nice i think it'll be fun to get to know each other over some nicer dining options here it comes though but i wanted to let you know up front that if we were to meet at one of those places i'm comfortable splitting the check I usually will do okay. drinks or something on the simpler end for the first meetup to see if there's a connection first. So my thing is, I don't like the coffee or drink day because they're trying to audition you to see if you are worth an action. Oh my god, are you serious? Is that not exactly what she's saying that she's doing as well? Listen, if you want to take the term auditioning, Fine, that so so be it. But everybody's doing that, especially on the first dates. Again, you're testing the waters. You're seeing if you vibe. You're seeing if it's actually worth spending the time with this person. You know, going out on on more extensive dates or doing different things. And she's saying that she doesn't like the coffee date because it feels like she's getting an audition. However. Are you not doing the same thing by sending this man a list of other places that you yourself said you'd like to try out and you're giving him a range of different options from prices 
to again to see what he picks and chooses and works for him. This is also a sort of audition to see what he would do, where he would take you, what he's willing to spend on a first date. Like, come on, call it, let's call a spade a spade. We can't be playing these little games saying that one party's doing it and the other party's not. That is the whole premise of the first date, to see if you actually want to continue seeing each other. You gotta be joking me that she said that dinner this is the thing for me like i know men the number one thing men are judging you off of is your looks right okay when they when they see you they meet you they're gonna be like okay how beautiful is she is she put together do i find her attractive right that's the number one thing your personality may come second sure but the first thing is how you look right so with that in mind my nars radiant creamy concealer costs $32 okay why would I put on a full face of expensive makeup do my hair make sure my nails are done make sure there's no hair on my body and then come and spend two hours of my time talking to you for an $8 coffee or a $16 cocktail you gotta be messing with me man you can't make this up this is the problem with dating in today's society. First of all, it's your choice to put on all that makeup, especially expensive makeup, if that's how expensive. Your choice to do your nails, your choice to shave your body or take off all your hair. Men do not really care about that. Now, yes, you do have a point. We are visual creatures. Uh, that is going to be the first thing that we're, it, we pick up. It's going to be the first thing that entices us that uh you know intrigues us with you but if he's already asked you on the date because of the dating app he's already passed that step he's seen the visual aspect he saw your photos your profile picture whatever the case may be so the visual part is out the door now that doesn't mean obviously you come to the date you know in sweatpants and looking like a bum or whatever yeah sure put some effort he's going to put in some effort you guys are out on a date but you don't got to do this whole shebang shebang that you're talking about if he's already seen you via your pictures and he's interested now the purpose of this date is to get to know you like you said secondary personality He's got to get to know you, see if you guys are even vibing, see if, again, you're worth dating. Because maybe he just likes you visually, but then he gets to talk to you, and he's not interested in you anymore, and vice versa. Maybe you like what you see, but you go on a date with him, and you know what? You realize, nah, this guy's not for me. It's, that's just crazy. All right, let's 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 continue. Be oh so for real. I mean, I'd say the same deeper. to you. When women go out with a man that they do not know, they take a huge risk. Men are crazy, okay? Do you watch the news? Like one in five men are violent. He could unalive you, he could R-A-P-E you, he could shock you, he could harass you if he feels like it. Like, it is very dangerous, extremely dangerous. When you go out with a man, you have to share your location with your mom and your friend. You have to send a screen recording of his hinge profile and the conversation that you guys had so that if you go missing, they have context. You have to text your friend every half an hour while you're with him to let her know that you haven't been beheaded. You have to take an Uber so that he doesn't know what kind of car you have just in case he's crazy. Like, listen, listen to the picture she's painting on men. Yes, men are dangerous. Men can be crazy. Men can do everything that she's listed. But do you think that by going on a dinner date versus a coffee date, that somehow negates all of those things or reduces the chances of those things? Because me personally, I'd say it's the complete opposite. Coffee dates are typically done during the day or the afternoon. Uh, yeah, maybe drink dates you can have towards the evening or nighttime. But, you know, coffee dates, you'd still be in a public place. There's going to be cameras around. I, again, coffee date versus dinner date does not reduce the chances of any of those things happening if that man wants to do those things. So again, I don't see how this mental gymnastics of hers is, is getting her to a point where 
dinner date means safer somehow. Now, I agree. I, I don't see there's a problem with women doing that, sending the profile to a friend, letting their friends know where they're at, this and that. There's nothing ha wrong with having safeguards. But again, to ha it sounds like she's saying, like, this won't happen at dinner, but this could happen at coffee, in a sense. It, it, I don't know. And then when you get home, you have to text somebody to tell them that you made it home alive. Men aren't doing that. They don't have to worry when they meet a woman that they do not know that their lives will be in danger. Quite the contrary, men benefit from just being seen with you in public, okay? If you are beautiful, poised, well-dressed, it reflects well on him. People look at him and you and they think, oh wow, he must be the man. Ooh, he probably has money. You know what? He's probably a good guy if he... Do you not hear what the caveats she just put out there was for the only reason a man could potentially be with a girl who looks good? He's he treats her well. He you know, he's uh, smart, intelligent, nothing like that. As he must be well off and have money to pull a girl that looks beautiful. As if, again, men are just walking ATMs or that's the only way that they can attract women. Oh my gosh. You can pull her. And this is especially so if you are more attractive than him. If he's fugly or he's overweight or he's short, they're like, oh yeah, he must have money in order to be able to pull a baddie like that. So my thing is like, what's in it for women? We've already spent more money than you by just putting our makeup on. No, you We're have in not. danger. Like, what's in it for us? So then all of that, plus this man is a pharmacist. Okay, you mean to tell me you make upwards of $150,000 per year, but you can't take me to $120 to maybe $200 dinner? Again, you're auditioning the man just because he has a specific type of job. You have a specific expectation that he has to then spend an allotted amount of money on you simply because of his job. Yet some women out here will just go and sleep with a random guy at a club and he, God knows he could just be, you know, flipping burgers at McDonald's, but that's okay because they're just looking for a good time. They just want to, you know, feel empowered in this and that. But a, a person who's actually willing to take you out, not just hook up with you, take you out, see where it goes, because they didn't spend a lot of money on you, then, you know, you don't give them the time of day. This is just backwards thinking. I don't know. Two drinks, an appetizer, two entrees, and a dessert like <laughs> and that kind of thing look, look men are supposed to be on their like best behavior when they're doing a first interaction with a woman like As that women. is when they are at their absolute best so if he's being cheap now for a first interaction oh. he's gonna be cheap on your birthday he's gonna be cheap on christmas like that kind of thing that only gets worse it never gets better that is the type of man that's going to want you to work full time pay half the rent when you guys move in together, do the majority of the housework because he doesn't want to hire a housekeeper, um, <laughs> raise the kids, um, plan most of the things, and then after you do your 16-hour shift of labor, he's going to want you to be happy and sexy for him, for his pleasure then. I, I don't know where this lady's living. <laughs> it's not like the 1940s or 50s anymore where women are just housewives, clean, cook, tidy up and then still look sexy for their husbands don't get me wrong there are women that do that and all the power to them but especially in today's day and age it's very difficult to have a single household income you typically need two two people making money and even if this gentleman is making one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and you know it's enough that you don't need to work why would he be hiring a maid or a housekeeper and also how do you equate a coffee date to the rest of your interactions with him all the way to marriage <laughs> like again what kind of mental gymnastics are you doing it's crazy that you have this kind of mentality or, or mindset on this night like that's the kind of life you're looking at so you know what good for this man for asserting his boundary he did it very nicely and it showed me what his like attitude or approach is when it comes to dating 
new women and ultimately it gave me the opportunities to choose and I have my boundaries too so I chose to not accept it and so I didn't okay I didn't respond or anything I didn't like bargain with him or try to justify anything I just quietly unmatched him because I wasn't gonna let him play in my face but like obviously if you're on play TikTok like this is not face. irregular discourse like this is very popular like the red pill podcast men are always talking about like all of these things so like it's not uncommon like listen y you don't need to be a red pillar to understand that in today's day and age a lot of women do have a lot of options especially on these dating apps there's only a few men that actually get chosen and they get chosen by a lot of the same women that are choosing those men so if you're a guy who gets chosen with a girl it's not or fetch to think that she also has other dates lined up just like it wouldn't be far-fetched to maybe for her to think that you have other dates Matt, lined up however if she thinks that she's way more attractive than you are and she's like giving you a chance or she, you're auditioning for her then yeah she probably has a, a lineup of men to take her out so again, why is this man going to risk it? And that's what these red pill podcasts are trying to say is like a lot of these women these days have multiple dates. They have multiple men taking them out and treating them and this and that. And then they're just using you and they're not giving you that time of day. That's not to say all women are like that. But in today's day and age, you, you never know. Again, I could go out with somebody on Tuesday and tomorrow they're out with somebody the next day. And then somebody knew the next day, like that is highly likely in the world right now with online dating. It's not like face to face where you meet somebody at the bar and then that's when you start the connection. Everything's online now. Like men are trying to get away with this this day is they're trying to see what they can do. They're trying to get at you for less than $20. Okay, so the pharmacist tried to give me a coffee date on a Friday. Saturday, a surgeon took me to a beautiful dinner with a view. The next day after that, this other man took me to this food event where the tickets were $250 because he wanted us to have VIP. Do you see what I'm saying? I just finished saying that. So she had a date set up for Friday, which she canceled on because he wouldn't take her to dinner. She then had another date with a surgeon because, again, the job status and title really matter to this woman the next day. And then the following day, she went out on another date with another gentleman who, and, again, emphasizes that the tickets were $250. And you're telling me that men are auditioning you? You're equally as to blame in this auditioning thing, if that's how you want to look at it. By stating all of these things and giving the men these options and saying, oh, I don't do dinner date or coffee dates. I only do dinner dates. Like, come on, you can't be this delusional to not see that you are also in the wrong if you're going to say that this man is in the wrong. Oh, my gosh. So don't feel scarce about it because there are plenty of men. There are a plethora of men that would be more than happy to show you a good time so and that's ridiculous to say that just because a man is not taking you out for a dinner date on the first date does not mean that he wants to show you a good time or take you out on different like good times that those things just do not equate anyways this video is almost over and i'm done <laughs> listening to this woman rant uh as always love to hear from you guys and uh I will catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.